Okay, here we go. It's here. The <laughs> day is upon us. We've all been waiting for at least two years. And it's here. I can't believe it. I'm sitting in it. I, you're looking at it. So listen, without any more chitter chatter, let's enjoy it. I'm going to tell you all the positives and all the negatives and oh, I have a lot to say about it. Trust me. Let's just get going. Let's get up in the air. There it is, guys. It's working. I can't believe it. It's working. Triple screen setup. Not warped. Fully working in every direction. Yes, it's absolutely stuttering, and I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. But until then, I'm just going to shut up and let you enjoy it. How about that? That's right, no more distortion. We can see all the way to the seat, perfectly out the window, perfectly out this window. 11 frames a second, my friends, 11 frames per second. If you read the description, I'm running a 2080 Super. I'm usually getting anywhere from 34 to 40 frames per second in NVIDIA surround. From almost Let's call it average 35 frames per second. I'm down to 11. I'm going to try to stay positive as I take you around. So guys, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the negatives and the positives. It's running at 11 frames a second. And you'll say, you don't have a good computer, you don't have your settings right, and you know what? That's maybe true, but here's the deal. I have a 2080 Super. I am getting plenty of frame rates all the way up to 40 in regular NVIDIA surround play. When I change the settings to DLSS, not DLSS, to high, to low, all the way down to the lowest settings that this simulator can do, there is no difference. It's 11 frames a second, as you can see right there. Every single time, it's 11 frames a second. As you'll see later, you have to make three windows. One window, two, and three. This is not one window. This is not one window with the game rotating. I'm assuming this is to satisfy huge cockpit builders, people who really love, you know, moving their windows up and down in a realistic fashion to get more of this, to see more or less. To do that, they have separated windows so you can put them wherever you want. Unfortunately, I think, and, and I have to say it, I think, we're running three different versions of the game. I am not kidding you. I'm going to move the window and show you that, my friends, is my desktop, and that is scary. The concept is amazing, so please continue. This is beta, I understand. Uh, I, I know I'm probably gonna get comments below. I'm not that guy, I don't want to just complain. I enjoy this thoroughly, and I want all of us to enjoy it. I really hope that they continue to put effort into it and make it better. We'll take a little break and we'll show you how I set it up. It's not that complicated. And then we'll come back. Okay, general options all the way down to experimental. Before we do that, please remember, if you have a triple screen setup like I do, you would have had this already on a really odd 
resolution and probably really ultra wide right to cover all of the three screens either 1440 by 7680 or 12,000 by 2000 if you had 4k's if you could run something like that but if you have it you have to change it to a single resolution for one single screen and you will see why so you have to run the game on one single resolution I'm choosing 1440 because I know I cannot run 4k at all and I'm gonna go windowed and I'll explain in a little bit uh, why then all the way down to experimental and we will have when you get here you will have nothing it will just say add new render window when you add it you will see this window one I am going to sh switch it right now and show you I'm going to downscale this which is I think is a positive and I think if this sticks around this could really benefit us switching down to a 1080 on the side screens as we know we always look forward not very often look sideways unless we're taking some reference to land somewhere uh, so I highly suggest switching this down to a lower resolution and I know this because I did it and it worked then you add another new render window down here and same thing switch it down to a lower resolution I should really save on GPU but as you heard me already I can't seem to get it to get any more frames or any less so then what I found for my triple screen setup the way I have it the angle of uh, of both side of the screens what I found out that works for me is minus 88.6 and positive 88.6 if you change this number that changes the rotation uh, orientation of the screen and it seems to work for me I'm sure you have to mess with it B vertical rotation offset and roll rotation offset that just has to do with if your screens are probably not aligned in the same plane mine are perfectly aligned as you can see so with that done I'm gonna apply please remember my center screen resolution is still uh, at 1440p so with that done we will go back and we'll enjoy the flight again I really hope you guys enjoy this I really hope they fix it I mean clearly it has some frame per second issues we have it finally we've been dreaming about it so here it is hey everyone welcome back I forgot to mention we're in beautiful Ann Arbor Michigan I believe that's Ann Arbor Airport right there. It's again, it's exquisite. I mean, this is what we always wanted, right? You want to look out the window and see everything in perfect perspective. Well, it's happening, my friends. There it is. If you're interested in my cockpit, I do have a video. It mainly features driving and how I use it as a uh, racing simulator, but I do plan to make a video to show you how I set all this up. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's incredible. As you can see, I can see in both directions. Absolutely incredible. We're going to butcher this landing, obviously. But, uh, yeah, and I don't know if it's coming through the uh, GoPro right now, but it's it, the frame rate is just completely atrocious. There you go, 11. No more, no less. Just 11. That's it. I really hope it gave you an idea what it looks like. It is still in beta, so let's be gentle. Let's support the team at Microsoft and make sure that they make this amazing. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content. Love you, my dudes.